So the topic today is the future through blockchain, digital currencies, AI, uh, AOT and the metaverse, which I think is quite an interesting topic. Personally, myself, I'm quite invested into this and starting to dabble in my own little research. So I think this is quite exciting to have a look at today. And as mentioned, we uh, have the pleasure of having a presenter, Ahmed Khalil, uh, presenting on this topic today. So a little bit of background, he's an international coach, Masters of AU, co-founder, executive board member and director of business development. So Ahmed, is a present and former co-founder of several startups in Estonia and Egypt, and a current and, pres and previous executive board member in startups and technical colleges in Estonia and Saudi Arabia. He has worked in remote freelance advising for BernethPlatform.io, I hope I said that correct, in Georgia, and Tags.com Cryptocurrencies Exchange in Australia. He has received his master's in computer science in digital currencies from the University of Nascosia, and in addition to a Master's of Education in International Education and Executive MBA, both uh, from the US. Uh, was, he was recently interviewed about blockchain businesses with CoinUse Extra in Nigeria and delivered a webinar about VET and XRP and, and the suggestions for Egypt at a virtual ME and a blockchain conference in 2020. Moreover, he's participated in translating Zoom app to Arabic and volunteers as a country representative for Egypt for International Group of Artificial Intelligence. Ahmed is a technophile of AI, digital twins, blockchain, digital currencies, 3D printing, AIoT, and many other emerging technologies. And it is an absolute pleasure to have him on the chat today. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go Thank forward you. from there. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you, Alex, for the uh, uh, great introduction. Uh, today's topic, it's, uh, it, it might seem uh, uh, separate for everyone, uh, but uh, in reality, these technologies uh, that we're going to talk about, they work together. So, uh, uh, for example, we have uh, uh, blockchain, we have uh, digital currencies, uh, 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 we have uh, IoT, artificial intelligence, and metaverse. All of these five technologies, uh, they, uh, uh, they might look separate, uh, and uh, uh, the disciplines are being taught in, uh, uh, at universities separately, but in reality, uh, they complement each other. Uh, uh, for example, uh, 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 you can show the, the five, uh, all, all the five here. Uh, uh, the artificial intelligence, it's considered the, the top uh, technology among them. Uh, it's the, the uh, greatest technology. And then we have the blockchain, which is the database uh, of, the, uh, of, of, this, of all of these technologies. Uh, and then we have uh, Internet of Things, which is the uh, eyes, ears, uh, and nose of, the, uh, of these technologies. Like you get the data. Uh, through the sensors uh, of the IoT uh, or the Internet of Things. And then this data is uh, recorded securely and uh, 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 transparently on the blockchain, uh, uh, which is uh, uh, highly uh, uh, against being tampered by uh, hackers. And then uh, artificial intelligence starts to process all of, the, of this uh, data and uh, inputs that uh, we acquired. So you can see that they, they all complement each other. Digital currencies, uh, as we will see, uh, it's, uh, it's a branch of uh, the blockchain, but it serves other uh, technologies as well. And the metaverse, uh, uh, it's not new, as we will see, uh, and uh, uh, but it's... Uh, it will combine all of these technologies into a new uh, uh, future uh, world, uh, if I might say. Uh, we can start uh, by the first slide, uh, the blockchain. Uh, the blockchain, uh, it's a technology uh, 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 that uh, uh, represents the old, the, the uh, uh, centuries old uh, ledger. So it's a kind of ledger uh, that saves data so for example when you when uh, if alex uh, 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 sells something to ahmed okay this this uh, uh, transaction or uh, uh, deal it gets registered on the blockchain forever uh, because the the blockchain it's this decentralized so it's uh, distributed among uh, uh, thousands of computers and devices 
uh, and the same record is available in all of these computers. So if a hacker wants to hack uh, this or uh, a government or any entity wants to take uh, uh, what was recorded down, uh, it, it has to have uh, 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 servers uh, more than Google, more, more than the power of Google servers, like 50 times with, with the current uh, technology that we have. Maybe in the future, uh, this changes uh, uh, when uh, quantum computers uh, come, but uh, at the moment, uh, uh, hacking uh, this is, uh, is uh, uh, some sort of uh, unreal uh, thing. So once you record uh, something on the blockchain, it's there forever. Uh, nobody can hack it. And uh, if you have a public uh, blockchain, anybody can see it. If it's a private uh, blockchain, it's just for an organization. So no outsiders can uh, look at it. So this is the difference. We have public and private uh, blockchain. And there are other types, uh, hybrid uh, blockchain, which contains a uh, part uh, public and uh, another part is uh, private. Uh, this technology, it has tens of, of thousands of applications in all fields that you can imagine. Okay. And uh, for example, uh, uh, if you want to uh, like uh, track uh, the goods uh, between uh, uh, ports and between uh, uh, countries, you can track them using a blockchain. Uh, and this saves time and money, a lot of time and a lot of money. Uh, for example, China uh, uh, used uh, VET, uh, the uh, uh, the blockchain of VET, in order to uh, to allow uh, uh, Chinese uh, uh, buyers uh, to track uh, French goods that are being sold to them uh, remotely. Uh, this was uh, like in 2019. Uh, uh, other uh, uh, implementations, uh, they record uh, the COVID uh, vac vaccination. They record uh, who took the COVID uh, through a blockchain. Uh, it can be connected to uh, security services to track the identity of people. So if you have an identity on the blockchain, you cannot tamper with it. So if there is a terrorist or, or, some, uh, or someone who wants to hide his identity, he cannot uh, if it's on a blockchain. Uh, other applications of it, we have uh, uh, even... Uh, uh, they, they, we, we create, uh, you know, like uh, 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 artificial art and uh, uh, you, know, you, you, you can turn uh, monuments into, uh, uh, put them on the blockchain and sell them as we're going to see uh, in the uh, next uh, slide with the uh, digital currencies. Uh, you can turn on the page. Uh, in, in digital currencies, it's it's one of the tens of thousands of applications of the blockchain. And uh, strange enough, uh, when uh, when the blockchain first uh, started, it started uh, through the digital currencies uh, such as uh, Bitcoin, for example. Uh, uh, but nowadays, it has many more applications. For example, you have uh, uh, NFTs, which stands for non-fungible uh, tokens. This is one of the uh, applications of digital currencies. Uh, uh, it is used like to create, uh, uh, to turn anything that you create, like for example, musical pieces, uh, 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 digital art, uh, monuments, uh, written materials, anything you can turn it into an NFT using uh, certain platforms uh, like Mentable, for example. Uh, and uh, open sea, and then uh, you can sell it uh, to anyone uh, everywhere in the world. One of the good things about NFTs is that uh, once you sell it, of course, you get your money directly, like instantly you get your money. The, the, uh, also, there is another good thing is that uh, when sub somebody buys uh, something from you and they sell it to somebody else, you get 5% automatically every time it's, it gets sold. Okay, so so uh, you don't you don't just sell it one time, but you you keep getting uh, royalty uh, money uh, uh, every time this uh, gets uh, sold. Uh, this created a, a, a new stream of income for uh, uh, people who create uh, uh, novels, uh, uh, art, materials, and even for nations. Some nations uh, they turn their uh, national properties, like monuments and uh, natural uh, uh, heritage into NFTs. So you can't sell the real monument, but you can sell its NFT. 
Uh, and nowadays, even celebrities, they, they sell their own uh, NFTs uh, to get other uh, streams of uh, income. Uh, one of the good things uh, uh, about uh, NFTs is that uh, uh, it, it provides continuous uh, income for nations and for people. So you can, you can uh, keep generating money out of uh, thin air, if I may say. Uh, 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 and even you can, uh, like artists who get, like they get their uh, 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 musical pieces uh, hacked, uh, and uh, uh, pirated, N now they can, for example, they, uh, they can sell it for uh, one buyer or for a group of buyers, of buyers for millions of dollars. And w when these uh, uh, buyers, they sell it, they, they keep getting money. So this is like a, a very huge uh, uh, domain uh, that, that we are just uh, discovering, uh, and this is just the beginning of it. Uh, uh, also, some uh, many countries nowadays they started to go into uh, digital currencies and blockchain. Uh, for example, Saudi Arabia and uh, UAE uh, they launched their own uh, uh, currency, which is called Abir, in uh, 2019. Uh, they are using it for uh, nine uh, uh, or seven seven domains, including customs and uh, uh, banking, transportation. Uh, uh, also, uh, El Salvador uh, recently uh, 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 allowed the Bitcoin to be used as a legal tender in the country, and they have uh, uh, ATM machines for uh, Bitcoin, and the, their president announced, uh, announced that they are uh, creating a, a Bitcoin city, which, ha which has uh, zero taxes, so you can live there uh, uh, and deal in cryptocurrencies and gains, and, and you don't pay taxes uh, of, of any sort. Uh, uh, also, China created its uh, digital yuan. Uh, Nigeria, they created e -Naira. Uh, 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 And uh, recently, like a couple of days ago, Myanmar uh, announced that they accept uh, uh, a stable uh, uh, digital currency uh, called the USDT, or uh, Tether. Uh, now they accept it as a legal tender in the country. Uh, we have two types uh, of uh, digital currencies. One is uh, uh, stable, like uh, it has a fixed uh, price, for example, against dollar or against uh, uh, euro or any other uh, currency. And we have uh, uh, fluctuating uh, 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 currencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all of uh, uh, XRP and all of uh, these other uh, tokens. We have more than 11,000 currencies at the moment. Uh, and some of these currencies, they have other tokens inside them. Like, uh, for example, Ethereum, it enables you to create smart contracts, the contracts that uh, can... Uh, 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 perform uh, or uh, itself like it can be executed automatically once the terms uh, in this contract uh, is available the contract uh, uh, is executed automatically so ethereum uh, the digital currency it was the first one to introduce this so now you have like a lot of uh, other uh, currencies built and applications built uh, on uh, ethereum blockchain uh, but uh, Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum, they are very slow. So you have another uh, other alter uh, alternative, uh, for example, XRP, which is way faster and way cheaper uh, than Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, and and uh, I'm talking about the fees of uh, transaction. So, uh, for example, uh, when you transact money on XRP, it, it might cost you something like uh, uh, four out of 10,000 of a dollar per transaction. Uh, in the case of Bitcoin, you might pay $25 for the transaction. And the same goes for Ethereum. It might take one hour for the transaction to happen, but on the XRP, it might take uh, three seconds. So it's much faster, much uh, cheaper. Uh, and also, for example, the uh, XRP, uh, uh, once used by banks, like some banks, they use uh, 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 Ripple, the company that, that is utilizing XRP, XRP is an open uh, source, so nobody controls it. But uh, Ripple, the company, they use uh, this open source and they have two services. One is used by banks, uh, uh, some banks in Saudi Arabia, in Europe in, uh, in, and other places of the world, they use it. This saves them 30% of uh, transaction fees. 
Uh, on the other hand, they have another service. It's called uh, ODL. Uh, uh, this one uses XRP, the digital currency. Uh, any bank who would use it, it would save them uh, around 60 to 70% of transaction uh, fees. Uh, and it will allow them to uh, stop using uh, Nostro and Vostro accounts, uh, 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 which, uh, in which they keep idle uh, uh, hard currency like uh, dollar and euro and so on. So if they use XRP, this would allow the uh, world economy to uh, take back 8 to $28 trillion dollars and push it back into a world economy, which is nearly what uh, was destroyed by COVID. So if you just use XRP for banking around the world, you, you can get this money and put it back into world economy and create new jobs. So this is just one use of hundreds of thousands of users. Okay, so uh, uh, this is just a, a quick, you know, like uh, overview of uh, digital currencies. Each, they are used in all sorts of uh, 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 businesses, from agriculture to health to education to uh, many, many things. Uh, we can move to uh, the other uh, slide. Uh, as for artificial intelligence, as I mentioned in the beginning, it's the dominating technology. Like this is the one on the top of the pyramid, uh, followed by blockchain and then followed by IoT. Uh, in artificial intelligence, you know that people have been uh, trying for years to create uh, 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 an artificial uh, uh, intelligence that replicates human one and that can behave and, and create things on its own. Uh, uh, this year, they are uh, coming uh, close to uh, uh, creating something like that. Uh, there are two main companies in this field. Uh, one is uh, OpenAI which is uh, uh, considered the uh, AI uh, 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 hand of uh, Facebook, uh, Microsoft, uh, uh, Baidu, and uh, uh, Ali, Ali uh, Baba. So all of these, they, they work on uh, open AI, which, uh, which one of the founders was uh, Elon Musk before he uh, departures. Uh, 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 open AI it, it, uh, this year created uh, uh, a pre-trained model. It's called GPT-3. Uh, uh, GPT-3 allowed uh, other applications, like if you're a programmer and you want to use uh, artificial intelligence, you can use the model uh, of GPT-3 in order to, to and connect it to your uh, application. Uh, there is a website that uh, has like uh, 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 demos of all the applications that are created using uh, GPT-3. It's called GPT-3demo.com. Uh, uh, if you uh, go there, you can see uh, hundreds of applications that are using this model uh, from translation to even uh, writing uh, novels and writing uh, uh, blogs, articles automatically. You just give it the idea and it will create an article for you automatically. Uh, uh, they even can imitate your voice, like I uh, tried it uh, once uh, and it, uh, I just trained it by reading 50 paragraphs. Uh, and then uh, I put a text, a long text, and it uh, read the text using my voice, which was like 90% accurate. <laughs> so uh, uh, these examples, they show you how powerful uh, this model is. And it's used in many things from chatbots, like if you go to uh, 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 like any company, you, you might be chatting with, with the chatbot, not a real human in, in uh, many uh, companies nowadays. In addition to uh, uh, medical diagnosis, in, uh, in addition to uh, video editing, and nowadays they even have uh, uh, AI artists. There is a website, it's called botto.com. Uh, if you go there, uh, you will see uh, 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 novel uh, art pieces created by artificial intelligence. And the artificial intelligence ma managed to uh, sell these uh, uh, photos using digital currencies for uh, until this moment for around uh, uh, $1 million. So it created art and sold it for $1 million <laughs> within just like one or two years. Uh, so uh, th these are all uh, uh, applications of GPT-3. Uh, a couple of days ago, uh, the, the, their competitor, uh, DeepMind, uh, Google, uh, uh, which is owned by Google or Alphabet company, uh, 
uh, they created uh, even a, a, a much a much better uh, AI model. So they are now competing. Who will win? GPT-3 of uh, OpenAI or uh, Gopher of uh, DeepMind? Uh, 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 just to, to give you an idea what, what can happen, uh, OpenAI, they are working on uh, something called GPT-4, which is the new version. It will be 100 times more powerful than the current model. So if the current model can create uh, uh, articles and uh, recreate voices and, and do all of these wonders, what can uh, uh, a model who, uh, which is 100 times what it can do? So uh, uh, we might not be uh, close to uh, imitating uh, uh, the mind of uh, people uh, or, or human beings, but they will come uh, to this at a, at a certain point in the future. Uh, and this is called singularity, technical singularity, uh, which is uh, 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 prophesized by Ray Creswell in his uh, book uh, at the beginning of, the, of this millennia. Uh, he was talking that at a certain point in time, uh, artificial intelligence will have huge leaps that it will uh, surpass the power uh, of human uh, mind. Uh, and, and this might be uh, useful uh, uh, for medical, like for example, uh, medical research. Uh, uh, at that point, artificial intelligence will be able will be able to read uh, uh, thousands of research papers, compile uh, uh, what, what's what's in it, and uh, produce uh, new uh, medical solutions for things that we can't uh, solve at this moment. And also the same for uh, uh, all other uh, domains: uh, agriculture, uh, engineering, and so on. Uh, and nowadays, the current uh, artificial intelligence models, uh, 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 they, they manage to uh, uh, introduce new uh, formulas of uh, uh, medical prescriptions. So now it suggests like new uses uh, in which we can use uh, uh, medicine that we didn't know before, even uh, strong antibiotics that can uh, uh, stop bacteria and, and, and other uh, infectious uh, uh, diseases. So uh, uh, this is just, uh, 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 we're touching base about uh, what artificial intelligence can do uh, currently and in the future. Okay, we can go to the other one. Uh, as I mentioned in the beginning, if, if uh, uh, art, uh, artificial intelligence is the top of the pyramid, blockchain is the middle of the pyramid and internet of things it's the base of the pyramid and it's the hands ears uh, and nose of uh, of all of these technologies uh, uh, nowadays you can connect uh, uh, you at home or uh, governments uh, uh, can connect uh, iot devices uh, that can sense uh, uh, see hear uh, and, and do all uh, sorts of uh, provide all sorts of uh, data. Uh, this can be uh, then moved to uh, saved on the blockchain and then processed by artificial intelligence. Uh, one of the one of the applications of this is used uh, by, uh, in China. They have uh, uh, sensors. They have cameras, uh, hundreds of millions of uh, cameras that are connected to artificial intelligence and that can spot. Uh, uh, like uh, anyone who who, who uh, do a crime or who is a suspect, they can spot him in seconds. So nobody uh, can can hide from this. Uh, and they connected uh, this to uh, uh, a social uh, 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 some sort of a social system that gives uh, points uh, or takes points out of you uh, if you do something wrong. So, so uh, uh, they can stop you from uh, like uh, using public transportation uh, if you do something uh, and they have everything. They, they never forget. <laughs> so uh, uh, this is one of the applications. Uh, another application is that uh, uh, they have uh, the other technology, which is called the uh, uh, digital twins. Uh, in, the, in digital twins, they connect uh, the, the sensors and cameras of Internet of Things uh, and put it uh, uh, on a digital twin uh, similar to SimCity. Like, for example, we have SimCity, uh, the game, everybody plays uh, this. Uh, uh, digital twins, it's a real world representation of the, of the Sims. Like you can uh, control uh, a whole city or uh, a whole country 
using one command center that, use, that uses Internet of Things uh, devices that are connected to artificial intelligence, blockchain, and to digital uh, twins. Uh, they, they can give you information about uh, the, the uh, status of uh, the road, about uh, crimes, about uh, 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 things that need uh, needs to be fixed. And, and uh, if you have an AI system that works with this, uh, it can assign orders uh, of maintenance automatically or call the police on its own. So it, it can do a lot of things. You can run a whole uh, country uh, with minimal uh, effort using all of these technologies uh, together. Uh, we can go to the metaverse. Uh, because I want to uh, give more time for people to ask. So I'm... Uh, uh, it, uh, it would be interesting to hear the, their question. Now, the, the final uh, uh, technology that we're going to talk about today, it's metaverse. Uh, uh, everybody knew about this term when uh, Mark Zuckerberg uh, talked about it, uh, that uh, they are turning uh, Facebook into meta uh, because they want to create the metaverse. But in reality, it's not a new thing. Like, uh, if, uh, if, if any of you have used before uh, something called Second Life, uh, uh, which is a website, it's a virtual website in which you take uh, another identity. Uh, and uh, uh, th this was like uh, started, I think, uh, around uh, 2006, something like that. Uh, uh, in my opinion, Second Life was, was the first uh, metaverse. Uh, 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 they had their own uh, digital currency before uh, Bitcoin is created. Uh, it was called the uh, Linden uh, Dollar. Uh, and they, and uh, it was a, a virtual uh, world in which you can create uh, uh, companies, you can have your own school inside, uh, uh, you, you can buy land. Uh, and I remember at that time, uh, for example, an Indian uh, teacher, he became a millionaire in one year just by buying and selling virtual lands uh, on Second Life. So it's not it's not a new, a new thing, but uh, Mark Zuckerberg... Uh, gave it popularity, if I may say. Uh, uh, nowadays, if you connect Metaverse, which is a virtual uh, world, and you, and, uh, uh, you can use uh, uh, smart glasses like uh, Microsoft uh, uh, HoloLens uh, or any kind of uh, virtual uh, reality uh, glasses, you can be inside uh, that uh, new world. Uh, it will have its own currency. And uh, there are uh, many, many platforms that are even better than uh, the one uh, uh, Facebook is trying to do. Uh, for example, you have Sandbox. Uh, Sandbox, it's a blockchain and in the same time a metaverse. And it has its own currency, which is called Sand. Uh, uh, they, they allow you uh, tools to create your own uh, uh, devices uh, inside the, their metaverse and you can sell it and get money using digital uh, current their digital uh, currency uh, 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 and also uh, there is another one it's called the decentraland uh, which uses a, a, a digital currency called mana uh, those are the two leading uh, metaverse uh, companies nowadays uh, uh, you also have uh, things like uh, uh, unity uh, the the uh, uh, platform this allows you to to design uh, designs that can be created and sold on uh, the metaverse if you don't want to use uh, the one provided by uh, sandbox uh, so so there are there are a lot of opportunities if you're an artist you can create things and sell it for free you you can create it for free and sell it for real money and digital currencies uh, if you're uh, uh, a company, you can buy land there. Uh, uh, and even if you're uh, uh, an uh, individual, you can buy land. Uh, there are people who are buying uh, lands nowadays on uh, Sandbox and uh, Decentraland. For example, Adidas, as I recall, uh, a couple of weeks ago, bought uh, land, virtual land inside Sandbox for uh, millions of dollars. Uh, so, so we are seeing different things. Uh, uh, people will be able to buy and sell everything in, inside these worlds. Uh, 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 and with the development of uh, 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 gra graphic uh, designing and uh, the power of uh, computers and quantum computers in the future, you will see uh, real uh, life uh, videos and, and imaging inside these worlds. So it, it, it's a, a, a new world, if I may say. 
uh, uh, I'm open to uh, questions now, if, if you want. Perfect, yes, we do have a fair, uh, few questions come in, which is fantastic. So I'll just, uh, I'll answer, I'll obviously tell you here and we'll just go from there. Uh, so the first question we got okay. was, what are the cryptocurrencies based on? In other words, where do they, oh, in other words, from where do they get their value from? Uh, well, le let's, uh, let's say uh, differentiate between uh, two things. There are uh, currencies that just make use of the hype and, and uh, uh, first movers, so they are the first in the market, like Bitcoin, for example. But uh, in the beginning and for several years, it didn't have uh, real value, except it, it was used like for, uh, for people to pay easily and, and fast. Uh, and uh, not using uh, banking systems. If they don't want to use banking systems, sometimes th they, they might find banking systems expensive or it, uh, they don't want to, to pass uh, through banking systems. So for several years, it was used for that. But uh, 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 in, in, the re in recent uh, uh, years, uh, they started to create applications for it. So uh, in some countries, uh, restaurants and businesses now uh, accept Bitcoin and other uh, uh, cryptocurrencies uh, uh, because it, it's cheaper and it's uh, faster than uh, other ways of uh, payment. Uh, and as I mentioned, we have stable coins, so you can keep your money uh, in the form of a stable co uh, coin uh, that, that matches dollar or euro or whatever, or you can keep it in a fluctuating one like Bitcoin and, and uh, tens of thousands of other uh, currencies. Uh, and and uh, this is one type of, uh, of uh, the uh, cryptocurrencies or digital currencies. The other type, it drives its value from its use. So it's uh, the utility of this currency. Uh, for example, uh, XRP is used for uh, cross-border uh, transactions uh, and remittances. It's very useful. It saves uh, billions and trillions of dollars uh, for countries and banks who use it. Uh, so this drives the value of this one. Uh, another one like VET, it's used in, uh, in uh, supply chain. Uh, so it facilitates the movement of goods uh, across countries. So this gives it value. Uh, 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 for example, Ethereum, uh, XDC, uh, 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 Matic and Algorand, they all have smart contracts. Uh, so they facilitate the creation of smart contracts. So, so you can use them, uh, for example, if you want to sell uh, cars, if you want to sell uh, real estate, if you want to sell uh, commodities like uh, oil, uh, gas, uh, metals, uh, gold, and everything, it can be uh, 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 sold using uh, smart contracts. NFTs, it's one of the applications of uh, smart contracts. So, so you can see the possibilities. We're just uh, touching the, the surface of uh, this uh, uh, ocean. Uh, we're just in the beginning. There are applica applications beyond the imagination. So uh, some currencies derive their uh, value from uh, 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 the utility, and some uh, are using the hype and uh, the fan base, their fan base. Perfect. That's awesome. Um, perfect. So the next question we have is, uh, do you think uh, hard currencies like gold would lose value as, as most of things will become more virtual? Well, uh, if you want my own opinion, if I'm, in, if I'm an investor, I would invest in 15 things. Like there are 15 things that are better uh, than cash. Uh, as I recall, like there is... Uh, a uh, very uh, nice uh, uh, YouTube channel, uh, ALOX. They had this video about 15 uh, things that are better than cash. One of them, it's uh, cryptocurrencies, but not all of not not all cryptocurrencies, but certain ones. Uh, uh, also NFTs, which is an application of uh, cryptocurrencies, virtual lands. So all of these are derived from uh, uh, digital currencies and blockchain. All of these are better in uh, investment than cash, but still in the same time, you have to you don't put everything in one basket. What happens if you have uh, all of your investment uh, in a digital format, and then, for example, uh, Sunflare destroys all the communication uh, uh, networks in the world. You, uh, you, you have nothing. 
But if you have gold, if you have land, if you have real estate, if you and and you have also digital assets as well, uh, when you have all of these, you are saved from uh, uh, things that might uh, disasters that might occur uh, suddenly. Perfect. So it sounds like we need to really diversify what we invest in both, you know, physical as well as virtual, because like you said, anything could happen in the future, which is obviously key takeaway exactly. from there. Uh, perfect. Exactly. We got another question here is, uh, which app creates articles? I believe this was referring back to a couple of slides ago. Which? Which apps creates articles? Uh, uh, if you go to uh, uh, gpt3demo.com, uh, th uh, this contains a list of all applications that have that has been created using the GPT-3. So GPT-3 uh, is a model, and developers, any developer, can create applications utilizing uh, the power of uh, GPT-3. Uh, so that website, it, it has a list of all applications. You will see, uh, uh, I will try to, to, like, to give examples now. Uh, for example, it has essay writing, uh, email generation, uh, uh, games, generative art, generative design, uh, healthcare. So it's, uh, it has applications in, in tons of, uh, of things, uh, even in uh, uh, copywriting, chatbots, book writing. Uh, code. Uh, and uh, I forgot to mention that uh, uh, one of the uh, most important applications of OpenAI they created uh, uh, an, uh, an application. It's called DaVinci. Uh, DaVinci can, can uh, if you don't know programming, you can tell it what you want to, uh, uh, you can describe uh, the, the program that you want to create and it will, it will write the code for you. It will create the application and the software for you. You don't need to know any programming language. So it's very powerful, but of course uh, you have to pay. It's not free. Well, that's all right. You're going to pay for something. Some things were free. It depends on how much you're wanting to invest your own time in. And I guess it's, a, you know, motto for everything, yes. which is perfect. So another question is, how could you, uh, how could the metaverse be defined in like a sentence or a paragraph? How would you define the metaverse? Simply, it's a virtual world. Uh, it's a virtual copy of uh, uh, the world. That, that can be accessed using uh, uh, computers and uh, uh, virtual and uh, reality and uh, mixed reality devices. And the currency inside it is a digital uh, currency. But you can buy and sell virtual lands and everything inside it. Perfect, perfect. I guess that leads into our next question here is, is can we say metaverse is a parallel virtual world to our own? Uh, uh, yes, to, to, um, uh, to a, a very great extent. But in addition, uh, not just this world, but you can create imaginative uh, worlds inside it, not just uh, copy this uh, world. So the possibilities are endless. We can have as many worlds as we want. Exactly. Uh, we can get as creative and we can have fantasy worlds. We can have very realistic worlds, which I think is really cool. Yes. Uh, as, a, as a gamer myself, I think this is going to be very cool to be involved in later in life. I think it'll be cool. Um, the next uh, question we have is, what is cryptocurrency mining? How much does it take to create one digital currency? Uh, well, let me start that uh, this was very profitable for people who started uh, in the very beginning, okay? Because each, uh, with, with, uh, when you pass time, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the fees that, uh, that miners get, uh, gets reduced every couple of years, okay? So now it's not profitable as before for people who mine. And in the same time, it, uh, it, it takes a lot of electricity. So you have to balance between what you get and the electricity that you pay for. So that's why uh, uh, countries like, uh, for example, uh, Gulf countries, Saudi Arabia and other countries, Egypt, all of these countries that has a uh, 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 possibility of using solar uh, energy, uh, if they create crypto values or blockchain values, they can attract uh, uh, blockchain investors uh, uh, who might make use of uh, the free uh, solar energy and wind energy that we have. So uh, this is like a great opportunity for countries if they want to capitalize uh, on. Uh, 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 my, there are uh, several, as we mentioned, 
uh, there are two types of uh, currencies. Uh, uh, the, the one with a stable price and the one with a fluctuating price. Another definition is that we have uh, uh, currencies that get mined and we have currencies that gets created as a whole once and for all. They get reduced, by the, by the, uh, but they are not created uh, by mining. Uh, the currencies that are, cre uh, are not created by mining a lot of energy because the ones, Bitcoin and Ethereum, for example, uh, they help in uh, in uh, the pol in pollution because they use a lot of electricity, uh, which uses a lot of uh, a lot of fuel, increases uh, pollution. But other currencies, for example, like X, they get mi uh, mined once, and and they get sold. You don't you don't mine them, so they save the uh, environment. Perfect. That makes so much more clear sense. I was always confused myself about how we go about mining, whether it's with a you know, pitchfork or we do it with a virtual well. So that's good to know. Uh, we've got a couple more questions. Uh, with crypto, is there still main obstacles? Is uh, is there still, uh, sorry, with crypto, is the main obstacle still regulations? Do you have to regulate crypto with empowered or to empower it? Or would you intervene with the basis that crypto was based for what it was built for? Uh, well, uh, you know, like uh, as any technology, uh, although it doesn't have uh, clarity at the moment, like many countries, they do not allow cryptocurrency and some uh, might, might even uh, put you in jail for uh, working uh, or talking about uh, cryptocurrencies. Like, for example, uh, in Egypt, the, the most recent law, it uh, forbids uh, 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 promoting or dealing uh, in cryptocurrencies. Uh, and they fine you and jail you if you do, uh, unless you take permission from the central bank. Uh, uh, in uh, Bahrain, for example, the central bank uh, uh, allowed uh, several uh, 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 cryptocurrency uh, exchanges like uh, uh, Rain and uh, Coin Mina, uh, for example. They are regulated and they work uh, uh, regular uh, uh, in a regulated uh, format uh, there in Bahrain and in, in Gulf uh, countries. Uh, so it, uh, uh, some countries, they accept Bitcoin, for example, like El Salvador, uh, and they embrace it. Other countries uh, 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 see it as uh, the devil. So they see Bitcoin as a devil. Uh, and in reality, like what, what's going to happen in the coming couple of years, uh, uh, digital currencies will be the norm. Like every couple of days, I read a new country is adopting either its own currency or adopting uh, a well-known currency. So this is coming sooner or later. Uh, the thing is, uh, 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 countries who does not regulate this uh, and make use of it and be befriend uh, this technology, they will lose. You know, like th this is the future. Yeah, don't completely see that. Uh, and as you mentioned, you know, more and more countries are getting on board with it. There's obviously a few stragglers, but that's with the adoption with any technology. There'll always be, you know, early adapters to the late stages. So it's exciting yes. to see this is actually, you know, is the going to be the future. Another question we've got is how can one enter into the metaverse world? How can they be involved in it? Well, the, the easiest way, like uh, if you don't want to wait for uh, uh, Facebook to do it, and now, now we have two uh, uh, metaverses. Uh, if you're just a, a user, you can uh, go to sandbox.com. Uh, uh, you can, using uh, digital currencies, uh, you can buy uh, stuff there, like you do in other games. Like uh, I think gamers uh, buy things already on uh, 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 Wii and uh, on uh, 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 <laughs> the the. Uh, 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 the other one, the famous one, what's called? Uh, you got uh, Fortnite, device. so different people can buy different skins. Uh, yeah, for, different... yeah, for example, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So you're, you're already buying and selling stuff uh, on these games. Uh, the metaverse is the same. So you can go to sandbox.com or to Decentraland, explore, uh, create an account and explore what they are uh, doing there. Uh, uh, these uh, sandbox, uh, you will find uh, uh, tools that you can download on your computer to create uh, 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 items that you can sell or use inside your sandbox. And they give you a, a free plot, I think, in the beginning. 
uh, if you're uh, creating uh, land. Uh, but in order to advance, you, you have to have uh, digital currencies in order to buy and sell. Okay. Uh, the, the other thing, if you're a developer, you can use uh, Unity uh, or uh, uh, Unreal engines to create uh, uh, things for the metaverse. So you can be a producer or a consumer. It depends on your role. Sounds absolutely fantastic. Uh, we've got uh, we've got one more question and a question of my own that I really want to answer. Uh, if anyone's got any more questions, uh, I'd suggest getting them in now. We've got another at least 10 to 15 minutes before we'll uh, wrap this up. Uh, but this uh, next question is, are there any, are there assets behind cryptos? Uh, as I mentioned, uh, some are uh, uh, using the hype uh, created by, uh, or the FOMO created by their uh, fan base. Like for example, Duke Coin. Duke Coin, it, uh, uh, when it started, it had zero uh, utility. It was just a meme coin. But once uh, Elon Musk and I, uh, tweeted that uh, he's gonna use it and that uh, Tesla is going to use it, the, the price soared. And then he said, no, we will not use it. The price went down. So uh, uh, and now they started to create uh, uh, uses for it, but it's not uh, as other uh, tokens uh, or other currencies. Uh, so, so some are just hype, uh, drived uh, by uh, their fan base, uh, uh, like Shiba, Shiba Inu and uh, all of these meme coins. And uh, others, they have utility like uh, Ethereum, uh, the smart contracts. Uh, 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 XRP, as I mentioned, VET and XDC, all of these, they have utility. So th this gives them uh, real power. Uh, other coins, like for example, USDT, they say that they back it by assets, but we don't have uh, an evidence that this is happening. Like for example, they say for each dollar, we buy uh, shares or we buy real dollars or we buy gold and so on. But nothing uh, is telling uh, us that this is happening. The same goes for, uh, for example, when Venezuela, a couple of years ago, uh, they created uh, their own digital currency. It was called Petro. In three days, they managed to get $800 million uh, by selling Petro. Uh, they mentioned at that time that uh, they are backing it but the, by the oil of Venezuela, but uh, there was no evidence that they are doing that. Perfect. Awesome. Uh, it's interesting to hear that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's, it's good to hear, especially Elon Musk with his activities when it comes to his own cryptocurrency. He's, he's got a lot of pull there. Um, my, uh, my own question is essentially, this would be for our interns. What courses would you recommend our interns or future students wanting to become an expert like yourself? What should they be learning? What should, what schools they should be going to? Just a little bit of information on that. Uh, well, uh, uh, when I first started, uh, uh, to look into this domain, uh, it was in 2017. Uh, I started looking into investment and I found that this is, you know, this is the future. So I started to read about it. So you can read about it, articles, uh, watch videos first, just to get, uh, you know, like the sense. Uh, Twitter has uh, a lot of uh, information about it. And then uh, once you, you get familiar with the terms and uh, uh, the people and, you know, like get, get a sense of what's happening, you can take courses like... Uh, the, there are uh, some uh, that are free, available on, on the internet uh, by various entities, uh, Blockchain Council, uh, uh, Blockchain 101, all of these. And also uh, my, uh, 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 the university from which I graduated, the uh, University of Nicosia, it was one of the uh, four uh, universities worldwide that offer uh, a program in this domain. So uh, they are offering uh, the first uh, course for free. Like uh, if you want to take master's, it, I think it's around uh, seven to eight uh, uh, courses. Uh, they provide the first one for free. You can take it, it's called the Blockchain 101. Uh, and it's online. You can take uh, this uh, course online. Uh, other universities, for, for example, the University of Barcelona, uh, uh, they offer uh, another uh, master degree uh, as well, similar to uh, uh, the University of Nicosia, but uh, they have uh, uh, like an extra uh, domain that is not covered by the University of Nicosia, which is the legal part. So if, you're, uh, if you want to take the legal part 
uh, that is involved with blockchain and digital currencies, you might think about uh, the one uh, given by the University of Barcelona. Perfect. All right. So we've got uh, two more questions in here. So the first one is, is the, bit, is, is the Bitcoin overlapping or overlap with Islamic law? Uh, well, I, I have read many, many uh, uh, ideas and uh, fatwas about this. Like, for example, in Egypt, the uh, Dar al Ifta, they prohibited uh, uh, Bitcoin and digital currencies in general. Uh, in, in Saudi Arabia uh, and, and Gulf, like, for example, in Bahrain, uh, they allowed uh, uh, the exchanges that work under the umbrella of the uh, uh, Central Bank of Bahrain after getting uh, an Islamic fatwa. So in reality, there are different opinions about it. Uh, 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 but let's let's look at what they are uh, mentioning. For example, uh, in Egypt, when they mentioned that it's uh, prohibited, they said because it might be used for illegal uh, activities. OK, but uh, 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 let's let's remember that we have tens of, of thousands of currencies. Each one has a different uh, uh, construction and, and uh, uh, it, it behaves in a different way and it's used for a different uh, purpose. So you have tens of thousands of, uh, uh, of various people. You're just uh, making, you know, like uh, a general uh, judgment uh, 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 depending on a, a, a unique sample. But, but uh, if you look for the whole picture, no, they, are, they, they should not be prohibited because some of them are very, very useful uh, for the economy for, and for all fields of industry, and others might not, okay? Perfect, thank you. And we've got time for just one last question. Uh, we live in a big data era with AI as a source of data input in many industries. Would, you, would that make human less capable of managing data and analyzing this data essentially? So would humans become, at, you know, yeah. <laughs> they become what? Because I didn't uh, they hear become the last not essential question. anymore. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 in a couple of years, like maybe uh, as I have seen in one video before, it uh, by uh, 2054, most of the jobs it will be uh, for people who uh, uh, communicate uh, excellently with people and who can communicate excellently with artificial intelligence. So if you are good with the human communication, uh, you're a trainer, a coach, or, or whatever, or uh, on the other hand, uh, you're a developer uh, who works uh, explicitly in AI and so on, uh, you're, uh, you will have a lot of work to do. Uh, other people will have to reskill and relearn new uh, skills in order to find jobs. Because many of the jobs that are being uh, done uh, in modern time, it will be replaced by AI, uh, and people will have time to, to uh, learn new things. Maybe uh, countries can uh, offer uh, free courses for reskilling uh, people, and uh, this might be possible as well once the, uh, uh, there is something that countries are talking about right now, which is a... Uh, uh, like a global uh, minimum uh, uh, wage, like uh, countries because of the abundance of money. So uh, through uh, using taxes, they can get taxes from the companies that saved money by using AI instead of people. And then they put uh, part of this money back to people in the form of a minimum uh, wage for everyone, uh, whether they work or not. So uh, this is being talked about uh, right now among countries. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, as for handling data, AI will help us uh, uh, handle data because it will be uh, uh, doing many, many things on its own. We don't have to interfere. So it will save us more time to enjoy our time if we have money. <laughs> that sounds absolutely fantastic to me, making more money, having more time for myself. You know, sounds perfect. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to wrap it up there today. Um, we've been here for about an hour. So obviously, uh, there's other other uh, things going on. It's been absolutely speak uh, fantastic speaking with you, Armin Khalil. Uh, down the bottom here, you can see there is his LinkedIn account. If you have any other further questions, I would suggest reaching out to him. Um, in addition to that, we will be posting this video in the next couple of days, as well as onto our YouTube and sending it to our students. Uh, again, absolute pleasure speaking with you today, and I hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.